JMP1. It's a little 1 watt amp that Marshall bought out in 2012 as a limited edition. Marshall bought a, a range of these amps to celebrate their 50th anniversary and you can get them as a combo or as an amp head. So this is the combo and it has a 10 inch Celestian speaker in it. They bought out five models and each is a tribute to a classic amp of each decade they've been in business. So this amp is the 1970s model. Now I first started playing guitar through it. It had a sound reminiscent of T-Rex, ACDC, kind of sounds like that. But in a miniature 1 watt form. Back then, it didn't sound so great for harmonica, but I've modified it a bit. And the sound has changed a lot, so I'll get into that later. So I'll just show you the front panel here. It's really simple. You've just got volume, treble, bass, and that's all there is to it. So it's one of those amps where as you crank up the volume, it's gets it gets louder, but it also just gets dirtier. So what you were hearing then, I, I've got it set on Volume about four, trebles on about four, and bass is on about seven. And the mic I'm playing through too, it's um, a Turner case, but the element is a vintage Shaw. So it's just really your classic bullet sound. So this is the back of it. And you can see here there's two outputs, 16 ohm, and 8 ohm and it does drive larger cabinets fairly well also here we've got a gain boost I had that on before when I was playing and I think it makes a big difference to the sound if you just want it sort of punchier and meaner this other switch here that takes it down to one tenth of a watt so it's not a very usable feature for harmonica, but guitar sounds cool for it if you want a dirty tube sound at super low volume. There's another panel on the back here, like this one, but I've taken it off to show you the tubes. So when I bought it, it came with two 12AX7 tubes here, the preamp tubes, and the output tubes are two 12AT7. So I've swapped the tubes around a bit. I'm not exactly sure what I've done. It was a while ago. Sorry about this, but um, yeah, I didn't want to take this um, off here to pull the tubes out and check because it's a bit of a hassle to get it back on again. Um, so from memory, um, I'm pretty sure I've kept the two 12 AT7 tubes for the output. The input, um, I pulled that tube just out before, um, but it's really worn, so I couldn't exactly see. It looks like it's a 12AT7 tube, so I'm pretty sure I would have put a 12AY7 tube in there, because I just love those tubes um, for sweetening up the sound. I love um, both of those tubes. 12 AT7s a bit louder. It's got a kind of a fiery kind of tone to my ear. Quite a, quite a lot of bite to it. And the 12 AY7 tube just sounds so sweet. I read something that you can swap out the output tubes for 12 AU7, which is another really sweet tube for harmonica. And I did try that, but it was just way too quiet for me but 
if you get one of these, it's you know worth trying out and also worth trying 12AU7 in your input stage as well. So there's all different combinations you can get. You know, you know, a lot of guitar amps, the input stage, you know, you can swap all these different tubes. But there's not many amps you get where the where the output stage is actually the same kind of tubes that you can swap around like that. So it's yeah, it's really an interesting kind of amp if you're into tube swapping for different harmonica sounds. What do you reckon we listen a little bit more to the amp? I've got now a different mic. This is the Dynamic. It came out at the start of the year and I really like this mic. I did a review of it so if you want to check that out you can check out this link here. One thing about this mic is that it's got anti-feedback circuitry in it. So I don't think it's as loud as the bullet mic but you can turn the amp up a lot more and you're not prone to the same feedback problems. So I've got a different setting now on the amp. Volume's on about 8 and I've turned the treble up to about 6 and I've turned the bass down to about 6 because this is a much darker, bassier kind of mic. So it just seemed to be a better setting for this amp. So, let's have a little listen, eh? So that's my little Marshall JMP1, one watt of Marshall goodness. Really like this amp. It's a sweet little amp and it mics well too. And also as I mentioned you can run it out through different cabinets so you get different tones and you know it drives a lot of cabinets really well. One thing about it though, when these amps came out they're, they're made for the collector's market so there were quite expensive. Not sure what the price of them are now. So I paid the price because I just like the amp. The collecting side of it mm, doesn't really mean much to me. I just buy amps to use as workhorses. So, you know, my one's going to probably end up a little bit scratched and it's already got a rip in it. You know, because I just don't really buy amps to sit at home in perfect condition. I buy amps to take out to bars and places and let them rip. But if you see one of these, check it out. And also the other amps that were in this range as well, they're worth checking out too. So, hope you enjoyed this review. Catch you later. <laughs>